All right, guys, we got another Is He Gonna Make It Across the Border with No Problems video. This is going to be exciting, an exciting day, but I hope it's not too exciting. I'll tell you the story here in a second. Guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Nobody's bringing you this much information as Travel Costa Rica Now has done in the last 15 years. Show us some love. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You want to see videos as we put them up, hit the notification bell. Guys, we have a relocation retreat coming up very soon. I think this one's going to sell out. It's doing pretty good. Uh, uh, this relocation retreat is a six, seven day event. If your Costa Rica is on your radar, but you're not quite sure, um, this is going to be great. There's uh, the good, the bad, the ugly about living here. No one's going to try to sell you anything. Uh, at the end of the uh, retreat, you should know if Costa Rica is right or it's honey, we're going to Portugal. Really, you know, no, again, nobody's trying to sell you on Costa Rica. We're just going to tr uh, try to provide you information. It's my most favorite thing to do is to meet you guys and to sit around the pool and answer questions and all that. And I've said this, I keep sit and I'm going to keep saying this. Uh, the, the price of the retreat is worth the contacts you're going to meet there. It's the people I circle myself with. It's the honest brokers. You do not want to come to Costa Rica and start something, anything, building a house, residency, any of it without having uh, the good contacts because it can go south really quick and you can lose a lot of money. So just for that, relocation retreat might be for you. All that information is in the link in the description below. I would love to see you there. All right. So what's going on, man? We're in Alahuela. That's about, well, we're about 10 minutes from the airport. So we're leaving today. We're going to Guatemala. Now, partner in crime, D'Angelo, has been doing perpetual tourism for about, I don't know, going on 18 years. And I believe, we'll ask him if he ever wakes up, that uh, has he ever been late? Well, guess what? He's late, about nine days. We didn't want to do the land border because that, I don't know, we've just, you know, all those stories do kind of stress you out and do cause a little worry. So we decided to go to Guatemala because it's only like $130 round trip. Um, so we leave, we leave uh, to the airport in a couple hours and we're going to see what happens if, if he gets hassled, you know, going through immigration about being late. But anyway, I just want to show you real quick. Actually, we've got a pretty nice Airbnb. I know I'm not promoting it. I don't know these people. It was 60 bucks about 10 minutes from the airport. Now, does that look like a stressed person to you? I think he is, but this is how he goes through life, actually. He's like a balloon in the air, in the wind that just floats and just goes wherever it goes. So I'm, <laughs> I'm sure the stress will uh, maybe start hitting him when he's getting ready to show him his old-ass passport that he should probably should have renewed about two years ago. But anyway, this could be exciting. This would be exciting. Uh, all right, Dan. D'Angelo just got up, and uh, we're going to ask him what he thinks because we've got a couple problems. We're going to show you real quick. Hold on. Say buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a morning person, if you can't tell. So we have – are you stressed at all? No. Are you lying? I told everybody you're kind of like a balloon in the wind. You just <laughs> do whatever. No. So here's the no problem. Here's the problems, guys. His passport, as you can see – has nothing on it, and they don't like that. It got washed away. He's had this a while, and I, I think that the water did that damage. Um, that's just wear and tear that took off the whole U.S. whatever, blah, blah, blah. So um, that's the fine. Inside, yeah, all my um, stamps got, like, washed away. <laughs> yeah, but it's the front that, that is the concern, right? Well, yeah, but they also don't like that the stamps all get washed away because... I don't take good care of my passport. Are you admitting that? Yeah. Say it to the <laughs> <laughs> And then the sides, the blue all got frayed and I had to take all the fray off. Otherwise that really, they did not like. So he's got that problem with the passport where it could be a problem. They might say you're not coming in until you go fix your passport. Or he's also late by like nine days. But they don't like all the stamps in it either that say Costa Rica, Costa Rica, Costa Rica, Costa Rica. <laughs> but there's others. Guatemala, there's Japan, there's Nicaragua, there's Panama, there's others. All right, guys, we're on our way. To, uh, we're going to call Uber here in a second. I just real quick, we are in a pretty decent Airbnb. We're right in back of the big mall in Alahuela, so we're only like 10 minutes from the video, 
uh, from the airport. Again, not promoting this place, but it, this might be a decent option. It's like 60 bucks. It's got a gym. Uh, they have all the, you know, as long as they got coffee. It has a pool. Oh, yeah. Does it? Yeah. It has a pool. And it has a washer and dryer. Yeah, it has a washer and dryer, man. You don't see that almost never. So anyway, we'll catch up to you at the airport. See ya. So if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen now. That's immigration right there. And there goes D'Angelo. They're probably going to give me shit for filming, so I don't want any problems. So I'm going to uh, meet you on the other side. Wish us luck. Oh, shit. I don't believe this. This could be... He made it. No problems. <laughs> Nine days Never late. They didn't, they didn't say nothing. They didn't say nothing about the passport. Matter of fact, you were through before me. Yeah. Good thing. Now we can go have some coffee. All right. See you in Guatemala, guys. All right, man, this is it. So we just got we just got through. Um, all, all of a sudden, now I'm less stressed. It was me that was stressed on all this shit. Anyway, we're getting <laughs> getting ready to have breakfast. All right, man, this is the video. Bye, ciao. Hope it helped, man. This is the thing about Costa Rica. You just never know.